Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some more Forgotten City, shall we? Well, it's a beautiful place that we've found. You could see the sun does come through this little cave, and it's just nice and protected. They've done an amazing job with, you know, all of the architecture and such, and yeah, they, they seem to be in a slight pickle, but we could help them. So let's do that. Uh, in order to do that, I need to read everything. It says a note from Centilla. Centilla to Sentius. May Jupiter Optimus Maximus continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant. I promise I will wear it always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Sentia as my sister. I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month, but if you can just show them the strong and dependable man I know you to be, you'll be re-elected, I'm sure of it. Okay. So, he has a supportive daughter. He's got some stuff over here. It is a beautiful game, and it's fascinating how... I mean, look at this tile work on this balcony. Wow. That looks a little hot, but maybe it's chilly down here. It doesn't seem to be a game where you have too much of an inventory, so you don't need to, you know, loot Goblin, which is nice. Is this Centella? Stranger. Ugh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Um, oh, hi. Um, okay. I really like your hairstyle. What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? You are a charmer. Oh, I can actually say that. Um, charming. <laughs> um, what do you think about the golden rule? Some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing God who's watching everything we do. Okay. But what kind of an awful, incompetent God there you go. let my sister go missing on his or her watch? I like incompetence. Wait, your sister's missing? Um, fair question. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward. Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? Wait a minute. No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. What is, um, I don't even know what you are so angry at me about, but, well, at least we know that blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or, like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. I actually know that it's not. We'll find out sooner or later. I suppose we will. When, I mean... Let me say it a different way. We actually won't find out later. We'll just be turned to gold. Um, and maybe we'll have a few seconds of realization. I don't know if it's instantaneous or if it's a slow process. Uh, but there might be a moment where we realize what's going on before we're annihilated. Uh, do you know a way out of here? Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, yes. that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. You actually do know. Um, can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Um, where'd you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy, in love. Hmm. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. Um, she was seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Um... Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off. 
eventually. And even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. I see. I see. There's uh, 23 people here. I um, don't know how mysterious it could be. Uh, we just eliminate the women from the equation and then we've got like, what, 10 or 12 guys to pick from? Um, your father didn't mention any of this when I spoke to him. Any idea why? That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. You don't trust Horatius? Um, is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Hmm. She's got her eyebrow arched very seriously. Uh, Sentius, Sentius, Centilla, why are your names so familiar? So uh, all so similar, rather. You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Centilla. Um, you look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. Too relaxed. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. Um... Are you? Oh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Never? I'm awful. Hmm. Why were you in charge of her disappearance? It's so suspicious. Whoa, is that some stew you've got there? Um, the, the carrots are purple, as they were before modern orange carrots were cultivated. Okay, cool. I guess I'm an archaeologist. I know all about carrots. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Tap X for a guide. Oh, look, the butterflies. So I like how people are like, yeah, the golden rule is just a myth. Um, except for this lady right here. Man, this is a sweet little kitchen pantry. Yep, yep. I'm getting... It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Yeah, there is no ventilation. We lost another cook this month. Actually, that's the third this week. Just asleep on the job. A vial, a small vial, containing a rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil. Hmm. Hmm. Oils. A sculpture of Ares, the Greek god of war, known to the Romans as Mars. Let me just check for any special marks. I broke it on the ground. Oh, here's her journal. Dear Diary, today my father suggested I write a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while we all deal with the sudden and <clears throat> devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, of course I shall oblige the following pages contain my innermost secrets. Um, next page. I know you're reading this, Father. I may be young, but not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Ouch. Alright, here's her bedroom. She's got the twin bed. Um, oop. Okay, I could steal her money, but... I don't know. What am I gonna buy? The brass has been polished into a rudimentary mirror, which has been used for applying makeup. He must look amazing in, in a brass reflection. A brass jar containing some sort of powder for makeup. Alright. This is the sister's room, I suppose. Um... Centilla, to Sentius and Sentia, 
May Clementia give you strength to forgive me. I'm so sorry to leave you this way, but I've found a way to escape and I must take it. I hope we meet again someday. Hmm. I took it. A ceramic ink jar. The ink appears to be made from soot and water. I gotta watch out for that. Like, usually I can't take stuff. That was something I could take. I am reputable. I do not steal. I mean, I do steal, but not all the time do I steal. One second. One thing I keep remembering I want to do is make sure that I have the voice all the way up, but I actually think I even want the music down a little bit more and some of the other effects down a bit more just so that we can hear... Uh, the voices even better. Okay. There we go. I want that those voices to be really clear to everyone. All right, we're barging out. I'm running. Oh, here's my man. Magistrate Brother. Sentius. Hi, old timer. Ah, you returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? I've just been pilfering your home. Um... Can we talk about who's... Uh, I was hoping to ask you some questions. Ask them. Um, no, no, no. If I understand Proserpina's ritual correct... If you sorry, know. sorry, I already did all this. Um, Good. No, uh, do you know of a way if out? If I did, I'd have let these people out of here already. Huh. Um, what's your story? Sextus Sentius Imperiosus is my name. Though magistrate is the proper way to address me. Before I wound up here, I was a decurion in the cavalry of Imperial Rome, helping protect civilization from the barbarians. Uh, what's a decurion? It's a cavalry officer. I had 30 men under my command. This was my uniform. Why are you still wearing it? As magistrate, I usually wear a toga. But today, I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you. So, it seemed prudent. Good idea. Good idea. Um, how'd you end up here? My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Keep now, the port is usually you. bustling, but just as our guests arrived, waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. Huh. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic, and I remember it losing its footing by the water's edge. Ah. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some stranger. Is she a nice lady? I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. You can probably figure out the rest. Yes, yes. How did you come to be magistrate? I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would placate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. Why don't you just placate your constituents with murder. Do you think that would violate the golden rule? Let's talk about something else. Well. Um, I can't ask him about his daughter head on. Uh, who do you think is going to break it? Of course. What is it? Um, never mind. I need more time. Why then did you say... Oh, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to see your reaction. Like you'll have to continue your investigation. I'm trying to... Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? See if I could a ask about your daughter. What do you think about the golden rule? I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me see if I can sum up my thoughts. I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of the Roman people. Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods. The sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. 
The real enemy in this place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. It kind of does. I mean, I agree with you, but... Given those human failings, don't you think the golden rule is a little bit... Um... Extreme? No. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. He's going to be waiting here. Let's keep him waiting. Oh, somebody out here training, doing push-ups. That is fantastic. A physically fit individual. Um, I mean, what do you mean, why am I here? You know why I'm here. Some ahem, stranger lady found me washed up by the river and uh, told me to go investigate. Like she probably did for all of us. Let's go where the butterflies lead. Butterflies. Apollo. Wow. Um, Lucretia. And, oh, she's out. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient. And a dear friend. Julia. She was a good woman. Um, what happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule, or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Okay, that's a lot. Um, so it is interesting. How could someone poison someone else without breaking the golden rule? And how does that guy practicing extortion not violate the golden rule? Is there something I could do to help? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing. I have that power. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetic Fututo and scratching his eyes out. Um, I don't know what that curse that you uttered means. Can you explain more fully? Um, I'll, I'll see what I could do. Um, what's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. So we've got two disappearances already. How'd you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. 
I could barely see for the smoke. And the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. Um, wow. Well, your husband sounds horrific. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. That's true. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Good point. Um, why are you working out of a shrine? Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So, I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. It, it totally does. You're so right about that, Wink. Um, tell me more about Navia. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. Huh. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues. Like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside. And nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Um, who's that? I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. You mean more gold statues? I just would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Hmm. We can lift the bar using a sword. Stick it through the crack in the door and lift it up. It's genius. Um, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, I suppose. You suppose. Um, do you know a way out of here? I wish. Some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways, we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. Hmm. We need Batman. Um, can we talk about Ulia? Sure. What do you want to know? Do you think she was poisoned or was it self-inflicted? Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule. Uh -huh. And so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Right. Um, do you know who, what poisoned her? Hemlock, I believe. Okay. What killed Socrates. Is there any way, uh, reason she might have wanted to die? I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas's villa. And they are quite secretive. What? Um, what do you mean not allowed to leave the villa? Gladly. Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Thanks, lady. She's gonna do what she can. Um, a wooden rack containing various things. A collection of barbaric looking medical implements. Indeed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, look at them shrooms. Oh god, that's hot. Whoa, died praying to Apollo. Okay, so Apollo, when posing for the statue, brought a harp and uh, a kind of wrap on his arm, but decided to not Apollo, keep you safe. cover up. 
Bold choice. Well, I got a lot to think about. So she could talk to the statues. What do you mean, why am I here? I'm just chilling. I like ancient history. Isn't that obvious? Who's this person? Oh, Romans go home. Um, whoever wrote this did not get to finish. Opius, the thief stole my purse and I... Decius. Oh, this is the snake, the merchant. How'd you do? You creep. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the empire. I'm Decius. Terrible shame what happened to Yulia, but we just have to carry on, don't we? Yes, yes, we do. I need some of the old resin. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. Um. You're price gouging over life saving medicine. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's perfectly legal. Simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Take it, says the voice. Did you hear that? Hear what? Um. You know, the, the whisper. Ah, uh, you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another navy on our hands. No, it's only on your hands, actually. Um, what happened to her? Well, she claimed the statue was a whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Oh, then oh. She shut herself in the palace and we never heard from her again. My bad. I digress. Do you want this Sylphium or not? I thought I got confused between the lady who died and Navia. Right, right, right. Um, how would I come up with a thousand denarii? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard, and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? Um, how about I just take it instead? Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule, and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived there. Is that what you want? Yes. Take it and run. Um, is that what you want? If not, hand them over now. Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see one? Nice try. Um, I'm going to take it. Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule, and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Is that what you want? It says take it and run. So, um, you don't know that for sure. I'll take my chances. Don't you dare. Um, did I take it? Steal it from his stall. Okay, where is it? Is this your stall over here? Oh, it's over here. I'm going to take it and run and see what happens. A bottle. Follow the magistrate back to the shrine. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Save yourselves! I'm gonna try to make it. I don't know if I was fast enough. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. Well, we're going to find out what happens. Alright, he didn't make it. He's true to his word, though. He did the ritual. So I listened to the whisper. And I, I got the looper. I'm a looper. All right, I did follow him back and used the portal. And now I have the resin. So maybe I can go save this lady. Interesting. I don't know how this works. But I got to tell you what. 
Um, this game just keeps getting more and more interesting as I play. I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm making the right choices, but that guy was a jerk. I take your poison. Now, I feel bad about the magistrate, but maybe if I went back in time, maybe he's cool. Maybe? I don't know. We're going to find out. Everyone, I hope you're enjoying this like I am. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.